Hey everybody, and welcome back to episode 141 of Don't Starve. Guys, if you're watching this, then it's June 10th. No, 11th. Then I recently hit 5k subs. Just wanted to say thanks for that. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, also, if you're watching it, you know, within a week from now, I am doing a, uh, a giveaway for Terraria for, for my 5k subs. You know, just, just a some, little something to celebrate. So, you know, check that out. But anyway, back to uh, Don't Starve. I need another torch. Actually, I want a torch, torch on my person. Anyway, what we were doing in the last episode was we found this amazing wormhole, which is hopefully going to let me go to the next island and come back. Uh, I also need to go to our very few. Where is it? We have one spider nest somewhere. There it is. I put a bunch of traps there. So there's a spider nest there. Then I th yeah, right here, right south of me, there's two. Maybe more in here, I don't know. I want to get more silk, because what we want to do is we want to have a tent crafted, hopefully that we can take with us to the next area, like, you know, hopefully we don't you know, somehow need it in the next map, uh, or, or this map. I mean, I would like to be able to take it with me to the last map, but taking the tent with me to darkness, I don't think is going to make sense. But either way, I want to have a tent. It's an extra tent with me. I can use it for whatever. I think that would be pretty sweet. So there are regular pigs. No bear pigs. Because it's not a full moon. If you want to, like, kill him. Kill one and make it drop silk. You want to do that for me? It's going to be day, like, any second now. He totally... Oh, did he? Oh, I thought he went home. Spiders, you're in the wrong neighborhood. When morning rolls around, you're done. You're going to get bent. I'll take that. <laughs> we can befriend a pig. Alright. Pigs, go help your brethren. And you. And you. We have friends. You can buy friends with meat. Who needs real friends? Let's heal ourselves. We're a wee bit hurt. Alright, so you are not my friend, but I have one more meat. So I'll give that to you. We'll get all of our sanity back because of the huge sanity aura. Anyway, something I did find is we found this, like, extra little pig village. I also found a mandrake. And that is something I need to pay close attention to. We need to make ourselves a pan flute. Now, I can't remember if the pan flute is underneath one of the magic tabs. I think it is. I'm going to want to make one of those. Because when we go to the next island, again, the theme of this place is we're safe now, but later on we're not going to be safe. And there's going to be lots of monsters, and I think there's going to be some pretty unique set pieces. So, hopefully I can use the pan flute to put them to sleep. So, like, I, I've even seen it where there's, like, no joke, just imagine this spider nest, but surrounded with, like, five tentacles, like, in a line, just all around. I mean, not one, two, three, four, five, but, like, five tentacles, five tentacles, five tentacles. There's, like, a shit ton there. It's really scary. I mean, not that a pan flute would put a tentacle to sleep, but there's, like, all kinds of really strange things like that throughout the place. So, yeah. <laughs> the more I can take with me, the absolute better. Hey, I'll kill you. I'm a little bit hurt. We're still topping ourselves off. Now we're topped off. So I'm just exploring this last little bit of area, because this is the last on this entire island that we don't know what's here. Then I'm going to get to get the pan flute, see what I need to make that. Uh, how much silk do I have? Three on me. I'll have to go check to see what I have at home. I can't really remember off the top of my head. Sadly, it's been a little bit. Let me zoom into my map. Since I have had a chance to play Don't Starve, i got to get my bearings back. That's how it always is. I always do little batch recordings, and I'm like, oh no, I'm a doom again. Eh. This is, yeah, this is just like that really barren area. I still haven't figured this out. Like, is this... Is this unique? Is this a... Is this a, a, um, an adventure mode thing? Or did just it not generate for some reason? I have never seen a biome like that before. Well, until adventure mode, of course. You don't see a lot of things until adventure mode. <laughs> then you don't want to go... Then you want to go back. Then you want to go back. Uh, the, the green mushrooms that are all over the place? I very much want to take a few of those with me over when we hop to the wormhole. Just to eat it. Because that's 15 sanity instantly lost, just going through the, more, the wormhole. And considering we're going to be over there and it's going to be completely inhospitable, it's not going to be a lot of fun. 
well, it'll be fun, but it won't be good for my health. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna stay topped off, make sure we're good to go. I've been refraining from making a garland this whole time because I kind of just get by without one. Let's go to our little little base camp thing here. I think I really needed to do that. I'm pretty sure we're 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 full HP. That's okay. I'm a human. This is just this is what we do. Death and destruction. Death and destruction. So I need to put these twigs in the chest we made. I picked up quite a few extra. I was kind of on autopilot when I was talking. An autopilot autopilot involves lots of looting. So there's our magical wormhole. That's a weird thing to say. That is the one that is hopefully going to take us to the scary scary island that is somewhere over here I think and let us come back that's that's huge just being able to come back here's our here's our crap shack what do we got going on alright so chest did I put silk in you I see a bunch of silk over there one, our, one of our mandrake is it? I think we may have found another mandrake I know there's one like right up here and we got that for some reason I keep thinking I have two anyway we'll put these extra stacks in here uh, you know what? You guys can kill each other. Don't no, don't no, run, run in the tree. Don't, don't get away. No, no, Kelly, Kelly, stop, Kelly. I told you to attack yourself. Kelly, commit Sudoku. I, I, I know it's not Sudoku, guys. Don't get mad at me. Some people don't understand that joke. All right, I've pressed Control F like three times. All right, hit Kelly. Kelly, you rat bastard. <laughs> Kelly, why are you making things difficult? Yeah, Kelly was on her last legs. That's what it was. Nerva. That's an interesting name. All right, let's kill you. What I'm looking for is meat right now. We still need a little bit more meat for our drying racks. That's what I need. I love friend as I butcher your your friends. What's wrong with you? Oh come on, come down here and get hit. I think I need two more on that rack over there. All right, I'm, I'm about to say screw this. <laughs> Let's go deal with something else. I wanna, I wanna make our, uh, our tent. So we have three, six. Actually, we just go this way. Three, six, and then you got four. So we got ten. We need to make our last little line. All right. So silk. What we've we got? Three here, five here. Somehow I feel like this is enough for a tent. Six, and then yep, a little bit of rope. That is easy peasy. Quick, cheap shot him. Nice. On, turn around. I keep pressing Control F to attack the pig, and then it wants to go attack like all the birds and stuff. Wow, the one that started the fight lost. No, 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 no! Come here, come here. Just, just, just Tinian. That's such a weird name. Come hither. All right, you gonna come after me? All right, now I can kill you. Cool. Just the amount of meat I needed. Thank you. I have to make the last of our drying racks. That is indeed on my to-do list. I'll put this in here. So, we needed nothing because we crafted it all. So bam, 10. Now let's pre-craft it, that's just kind of ready to go. I don't really think an umbrella's ever going to be useful. In vanilla, anyway. Healing self, uh, it is 20 HP, but you also have to have rocks and ashes. I think when we're on the run, just having glands is going to be quite enough. So, we don't have an alchemy engine in this world, however, I should be able to make another one from the one that I'm about to craft. Logs, rocks, we've got rocks, we've got gold. We've got a very limited supply of gold, but we have the Pig King, so it's unlimited. We just have to work for it. Let's plop this down. And then I thought I had a bunch of wood, but I feel like I used it all. Eh, not as... Not as much as I think that we used to have. I definitely used it on something. That's fine. To you, it'll it'll be like, but how did he forget? Eh, I took a little break. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll fill up my tummy. Let's chop this tree down and fill up my log stack again. I don't like having only seven logs on me. And then, real quick, what else do we need? Two cut stone. I've got plenty of rocks in my inventory for that. I have a shovel. Thank you. Pine cone, pine cone. Sure, we'll put two trees here. Yeah, I'm gonna chop this one, so let's put another one here. The bird? Why do you gotta be like that? They always, they always do that. They mess up your placement. They know exactly what they're doing. Let's use this. And then take the dookie, since I'm probably not gonna make a farm. 
Hold on, actually, do I have one pre-made? Nope, maybe we won't use all the dookie. I'll make a farm. <laughs> I mean, we could take a farm with us into the next world. It's not gonna work in darkness because obviously it will never grow. But I can make an improved farm. Take it with me. Let's refine two of these. Voila. Okay. So, any th I'm just gonna get the mandrake out of the chest. And let's see here. I, I have a feeling we need to be near the Presta Hattitator. Maybe even a Shadow Manipulator. But let's check. Yeah. It's looking like... It's looking like it's either the Presta Hattitator, which is not difficult to make, or the Shadow Manipulator. And if it's the Shadow Manipulator, then I need Living Logs and Purple Gems. And I th think at a Presta Hattitator... I can combine two gems, but we'd obviously need hound attacks. So we can kind of hope that it comes from a Presta Hattitator. Or I could look it up between this episode and the next. I mean, meh. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just burst these bays because they are going bad. I, I, I think I'll look that up before I commit to wasting the resources on it. So let's just roast these up. We'll put the mandrake back. It doesn't spoil. And I, w I will consume these berries. And then we're going to get back to this. The drying racks. I think I left myself enough charcoal to do it. We needed grass. If I'm not mistaken. And there's a bunch of it right up here. So can I make any drying racks now? Let's make a few with the, the grass we have. Because that way, when we're harvesting grass, we'll be adding grass to this stack. Rather than making a new one. So it's three to each. I can make three more. Beans. Okay. And of course when we go to the next area, I want to have one of these prototyped. Just to have it. Dragon racks, oh freaking pea and vanilla. Enjoy them while I can. <laughs> That's going to be the last one I can make. So we need one more line and then we'll have a stack of 20 jerky that we can basically just take and then leave. And then we'll have a full stack of fully ready to go jerky. Cool beans. Oh, there's the mandrake. Durr. <laughs> well, let's take this little guy, and then we're gonna put him in the chest, and now we really need to figure out if I can make a pan flute. I can totally take that over and use it a lot. If I'm not mistaken, it's 20% each time you use it? Maybe? But like 20% durability lost. I could, be, I could be wrong, but uh... That's okay. I mean, if we have two of them, I think we'll be okay. It's more of like a convenience thing, honestly. I mean, think about it. Imagine you had uh, five or six hounds attacking you. Put them to sleep and run away. I think if you start attacking one of them, they might all wake up. I know when you attack a sleeping monster, they get up. But I don't know about their uh, their nearby friends. No, no, I'd, I'd definitely have to experiment with it more to learn. Chop this one down again. I only have 11 logs. So, basically make a few more drying racks is the plan. I've got my uh, tent, and probably in the next episode, assuming the Presta Hattitator can make what I want it, we'll be heading over to the next area, and we'll definitely be able to come back because of that wormhole. So we'll be able to explore and see some dangerous things and hopefully survive, and then come back, because yay. Now, I thought these guys were... They're guarding a Maxwell statue. Now, I I can't really find good information on this, I, and I've heard everybody tell me every every which way. Two worlds, to my understanding, if you get two worlds on anything other than Chapter 4, or wait, no, if you, if you get it on anything other than Chapter 3, you can get Wes. But then I'm also hearing if you have a Maxwell statue in your world, you can find him. I mean... Can anybody, like, point me in the right direction? I mean, I've looked at the wiki and it seemed a little unclear. And everybody's opinions seem to be, seem to be varied. I'm not really sure here. I mean, if, if I have a chance at unlocking Wes, I would love to try it. I want to do that, for sure. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, we could even make a meat effigy. We could make it, prototype it. Well, make it to have it and not place it. And then take it in the next world. I don't think crafting it lowers your, your HP by 20. I think that would... Maybe is it 20% or 20 points? I don't remember. 
We can even take that to, with us to the next world. Oh man, I'm thinking ahead here. Getting that grass. We only need one line, so we need five times three. So we need 15 rope. Yeah. 15 rope, but the problem is 15 rope times three. That's how much grass we need. Ugh. Grass. Actually, I have a crap ton of twigs, man. Not enough grass. Uh, let's just keep going, and we're working our way over to the pigs, which... Do I have anything I can feed them friend them? No. But I could probably snipe one, you know, just pick them off, take them from the herd, and, and kill them real quick. And then get some meat, and then use, you know, as distractions. Or, the spiders over there, we have our traps. I want to start preventing some pigs, get some meat from them. And I do want to work on the pig king here. Get some, get a, get a gold stack going. Obviously, ten is not very much in the way of tools or anything. And we're at a full stack now, but that's not fifteen rope. Uh, you know what? Where am I going here? There's more grass. Yeah, let's just go take a uh, take a look. See over here at our spider traps. Uh, I guess our regular traps at the spider nest. See what's going on. Pigs don't turn into were pigs. I don't want no full moon up in here. I hear a bee. Wait, oh yeah, it's something also I wanted to prototype because we can. We've got a bee box. Let's or we've got a beehive. Let's make a bee box. I, I mean, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do my best to be prepared. It <laughs> it may take longer, but you know what? If it enables me to survive, I don't even care. I'm gonna go for it. So we need to make ourselves a net, which, heck, I've got enough silk on me right now to start capturing these bees. You know what? I think I only need rope in my inventory. Let's do it. And click the survival. Yoink. I mean, there's just bees everywhere. This is gonna make the killer bees come out. I think. Maybe we're not close enough. Capture you. Okay, I'm gonna capture you. And then just plant you. Keep the flowers going. So we have three out of the four. We need four for a bee box. Is there another bee box over here? There is. We'll go hit that one up here in a second. Torch in my inventory. Yes, 44%. Should be enough to get me through the night. However, I need another one. And I want this one on my person. For reasons that should be very well known now. <laughs> I cannot believe that happened. I'm not talking about it. Nope. Nope. Didn't happen. Up here is our spiders. Going the wrong way. So they should be out and about because it's night. Hopefully we can get them to walk into the trap. The traps might all might all already be set off. I don't know. Nope. Nope. No luck there. So what we'll do. Make them mad. Come at me, bros. Let's go. Just pull them through here. They'll, they'll be stupid. One of them got caught. And you walk through. He got caught. Anybody else? I'm I'm all up in your nest. I'm all up in your nest. Come at me. Is there one like right up here? I can hear him. There you are. Come after me. Grr. Yeah. This way. Okay. Torch, go out. Go out, go out, go out. Queens. Take this. And I'm putting this on my my hot bar. So we got three easy spider captures. Is that monster meat? Sweet. That's right click, don't do that. Derp, set trap. What have we got in here? Healing salve or healing gland. Not bad, but right now I'm after the monster meat so I can befriend some pigs. Oh yeah, that's right, I, I accidentally a backpack. <laughs> I crafted one on accident. Forgot about you, Mr. Backpack. Captured both of you. This is a really easy way to safely deal with a spider nest if like, you never tried it. Just drain the nest of all the spiders by constantly lowering them out and trapping them. It, it 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 works. I mean, there's really no risk. You can run faster than them, as long as you don't have a, a warrior jumper pounce it or a warrior spider jump and hit you in the face. You're golden. Good to go. So, oh, there it is. Here's a bee box or a beehive. Let's get one more bee. Nope. This one might get mad at me. Yeah, he's like, grr, steal my brother, Jimmy. No, Jimmy, why? I'm taking Jimmy. He's coming with me. Jimmy the bee. Alright, so, let's make our rope to see where we're at. 
we need 15, remember? Oh, hello, Mr. Tier 3. So that, that nest is Tier 3 now. Be careful. Which also means it's going to be easy to get some spiders out of there. Ah. Oh, I can even make a birdcage and take it with us. There goes, like, all of my grass. Heck, you know what? I need one more. Now we have all the rope we need. Now we just need to get grass for ourselves. And we also need to break a beehive, because we need the honeycomb. Let's do that really quick. The pigs. Two. Uh, two should be enough to lure the killer bees that get mad out. I think. And I should be able to deal with the rest. I have 46% left on here. As long as this guy follows me, or they're relatively close when the pigs cause the, uh, the damage, they should help us. They should, they should, they should see their brethren being attacked. No, go, go attack the beehive. Eh, they're kind of walking away now. They're probably not going to help. Okay, so I'm just going to hold F. Oop, oop. Let bees take all, or the pigs take all of the damage. No, oh, why did he attack him? Attack killer bee. No, don't attack me. You're, you're a good bee. Gobbler. I don't have a barrier, I'd, I'd attempt what somebody's telling me to do. Oh, barrier. Dude. So, apparently you can lure these guys. I don't know how well. Let me try it. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Go, go, go. No, no, I don't know where you're going. He's definitely going towards that berry. Fuck you, gobbler! It totes worked! Now I know! <laughs> so much like uh, mole worms and using uh, rocks, or rabbits and using berries and traps, uh, you can bait gobblers with berries, and then just destroy their lives. Awesome! That's an easy way to deal with those guys, because they're really annoying. He'd like you. Oh no! What is going on here? Attack! What happened? What is this I don't even? Go, go, go! Hit and run! I don't want to waste my armor. Yeah, hit wreck. Oh, I think he missed the spider, or missed the pig and almost hit me. Guys, attack the spiders. No, this is my stack. You stay away from this. <laughs> Things got interesting pretty quick. You friend. Yes, I follow. But you're still friends. Nope. Nope, no, nope. oh, that's way too much moss for me. You guys are gonna like consider turning. Cause I don't have inventory space. Cause I'm being goofy and holding everything again. Whatevs. We got what we needed. I think that was a successful trip. Let's head back to base, maybe make ourselves a bee box. Uh, we made ourselves uh, a, a tent. And I wanna look up the pan flute to see if we got what we need. Anyway, it's actually time to wrap the episode up again. Darn it. So guys, 141, this entire area has been explored. Next thing is to either jump through the sick wormhole or go through this one, which I'd prefer to go through this one knowing that this wormhole has to be connected. I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen to this one. It really wouldn't make sense game mechanics wise because if this one broke and you died and then you got resurrected, you'd have no way of getting over. But either way, this, this guarantees me a safe trip home but we'll be using that portal sooner or later to explore the next area. Uh, can't wait. Things are going to get real. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.